Hey guys, so the, one of the first updates that, that came out last week um, with, in terms of Google Classroom and using all the Google tools is that you're now able within your classroom able to pose a question. And so down here, this isn't anything new, this uh, plus down here, you can do announcements and assignments that we've been able to do for, for a long time since this came out last year. But now we have this create question option, which is really going to be pretty handy, I think, if you just need a quick little snapshot of some information from students. And so you click um, this thing here, you can get the title of the question. I'm just going to put uh, pre PD question baseline um, gathering of information. You can make this whatever you want. I'm going to make the due date um, the 8th, the day before our PD. You can make time options if you have a specific time of the day. I'm not worried about that. And then you can attach either attachment, something from your drive, YouTube, or a link. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into my, my folder here. And I'm just going to create a new document. Um, with the question. PD question um, besides the There it is. So I'm going to X out of here. I'm going to go back to my classroom. I should have had that created ahead of time. I apologize, but just wanted to show you how you can create a document. I'm going to go to my PD folder here, and I have it right there. I'm going to add that. So it's boom, there it is. And then I can ask the question. Now, before it post, I can choose. The students, in this case you, but in your class would be your students, can they see and reply to each other's answers? That's something for you to think about. And do they have the option to edit their answers? For this sake, I'm going to give you both so you can kind of experiment and see what that's like from the student perspective because you'll be the student in this class. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit ask. And what you're going to see is it's posted right here as a question. There it is. You can go to the question right there. You can see how many are done. Now I can leave a comment. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, I would like to see how maybe we can use Google Classroom to organize and streamline the common form of assessment process for t content grade levels. I'm going to hit post. There it is. The beauty of the question is that if you're a teacher that posted the question, you can go up here to these three dots and you can edit the question at any time if I wanted to change this or change the link or whatever it might be. And then when you leave a comment, you are also, because I, I turned that option on, I can go back and edit the statement and I can make it something else and, and change it. So the beauty of that is that you're not locked in stone if you had a question that you didn't need it to be, uh, but you could turn those options off, obviously, as, as you go through. So this is going to pop up in the stream. And those that have been using Google Classroom understand that. It just keeps an ongoing database of, of stuff here. And so... We'll just kind of see how this develops leading into the, the PD on Wednesday, and I will share that information into the slide deck as we uh, get going here, um, and so we can kind of have an interactive uh, response when we get to the PD. So that's just one of the options using the create a question. If you just need something quick, easy to work with students and, and get some feedback or communication or collaboration within the classroom.